McDermott is in support inside and Phil Neal's made a run from the back. Still case. There's Neal! Oh, I say! So, um, we've got a privilege uh, here today um, because we're here with one of the most decorated Liverpool players in the history of the club. Um, a player who's won eight league titles, four European Cups, a Super Cup, a UEFA Cup, mm. uh, arguably Liverpool's best ever right back, <laughs> um, but I'd argue for it. Um, the one and only Phil Neal. Thanks. Thanks, Phil, for joining the Asian Cup. That's no problem at all. I had uh, 11, as you said, 11 fantastic years wearing the famous red shirt of Liverpool, and I'm here to, to answer all your questions, really. I wanted to start um, in Northampton. Oh, blimey, you so are going right. back a long way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you have any kind of idea that Liverpool were kind of looking at you when you were playing for Northampton? Because mm -hmm. you came straight from there, didn't you? Yes, I did. I, I was Bob Paisley's first signing, and uh, before we go any further, what a bloody good judge of a player he was. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I came from Northampton. Um, obviously, in, you know, invested 60,000 on a, a young utility player, young, 23 years of age I was when I, when I came here. So um, I wasn't really kind of young. Um, I was an experienced utility player for Northampton. I'd played in every position. Okay. So uh, it, it wasn't um, a strange thing. I just had to try and break into a, an international uh, ridden team, really. And I walked into the dressing room with Keegan, Toshak, Amin Hughes, Ray Clements, Tomo, you know, Tommy Smith, Ian Callahan, Chris Lawler. There was a, a multitude uh, of people, and I'm thinking, those are all internationals, and I'm in the same dressing room as them. How am I going to get in the team? And I didn't think I would do it for quite some time, but um, Bob had a surprise for me, uh, and uh, I think I surprised a few people. Um, within a couple of months, I. You know, I was regularly wearing the, the Liverpool shirt, so um, he had faith in me and I, I, I couldn't have been too bad because my inauguration kind of period was at left back. People don't remember that. Uh, I think I had Peter Cormack in front of me and Brian Hall. Uh, and so we formed a partnership down the left-hand side, really, before I, I got the number two about 18 months later, really. So uh, it was quite an experience for me. Dermot, Neil has made the run, and how well too, and he gets the second. Yeah. And, and 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 just just with that, I mean, what was Chris like with you? Was he because because he was left kind of playing left back in that position at the time, and because he'd been you know been there for years, a Shankly signing, like yeah. you said, internationals. How, how, you know, what was he like with you? He was he was fine. I mean, he he just went about his business, and uh, as I said, you know, Chris Lawler has got a phenomenal kind of scoring record um, at right back because he didn't take penalties like me. He used to go up for set pieces. He was a very strong, a very powerful man. Uh, he was a gentle giant as well because uh, you know if you approach him uh, to do this type of interview, he appears like a, a lamb. It, it really is um, very quiet, very. Uh, within himself, but on the field of play he was a very powerful person and, and scored a hell of a lot of goals for a fullback. And when, when you when you broke into the team, was there was there one particular game or, or a couple of games where you kind of went, right, I think I'm I'm in the team now for good? Uh, I think I think the shock of playing uh, my debut game uh, at, against Everton. I think Bob knew I was playing on the Friday, but he, he didn't disclose to me. He made me believe I was playing in the reserves here against Everton. And so on Saturday morning, I hadn't moved my kids up and, and family up by then. I was staying in Dick's, uh, not far from our training ground. And he, he had Tom Saunders rap on the door. And Tom said, there's a problem with one of the fullbacks. You're going to have to go with it. He wants you to join the first team squad at Goodison. They'd already been taken away on Friday night for a good night's sleep prior to the local derby game at Goodison Park. And so I picked my boots up here where we're talking from now and uh, I said, are we taking the car, Tom? He said, no. No, we're walking, son. So we walked from this stadium um, and basically walked across the park uh, in through the players' entrance. And as soon as, as, soon as I, I, eye to eye like you are with me, as soon as Bob saw me come walk through the door, he said, get ready to play, son.
And that was it, you know, that was the man. And he, he'd done it right because we drew nil nil. I marked a little guy called John Connolly, did quite well. Second half, I had a shot, a dipping shot, shot that went over the bar. Um, we drew nil nil, and I remember Emily and you saying, Brilliant, nearly well done, you didn't let us down. You know, and it was a fantastic experience for me because when I thought about it, you know, kind of you, you look back and you think that was a, a powerful game for me because if I can get through a local derby as my first game, surely I can hold my own within this group. Uh, and I, I showed I was going to do that over the next 11 fantastic years.